This is the part two of our lost games because of bad chess opening. We have here three chess games that we will analyze today. Of course, our objective is to check the opening that they use. Also, how to avoid committing the same opening mistake. So if you are ready, let's go. This is the first game that we will analyze today, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, very common, very popular, Ruy Lopez opening, bishop b5, a6, bishop a4, that is the usual, and of course the common square for the um, bishop that is under attack, the a6, so you have to move away your bishop, and here d6, the usual is knight f6, but the, the black player decided, okay, I gotta go with d6, and here white could go c3 for bishop c2 later on after all, b5 or immediate castling, which... Um, white decided to go to castling bishop to g4 very aggressive idea for the for the black player and here white could go c3 or bishop takes c6 immediately to prevent the coming knight d4 attacking of course pressuring the knight on f3 after the b5 you cannot go that uh, yet because it's spin but the main lane here to attack the bishop um of course to scare the bishop away but if you are the black player just don't move your bishop Support it using the pawn. The idea of that move is after of h takes h takes g, the rook is now controlling the h file and the queen is anytime to go queen h4 for the checkmate. And here, um, white captures the knight. Very good. B takes. Unfortunately, white just delayed the capture and after of bishop takes c6, he captured the bishop on g4 so let's go back so what is the best continuation for white here you can go d4 attacking the center just imagine um the black is not castling yet the white is already castled so this rook may enjoy the e file if um black would go d uh, e takes d4 but of course d4 is the best here d3 or c3 but capturing the bishop is a big no-no because after of h takes g4 where the knight will go if knight e1 or knight h2 queen h4 is coming um white player okay i'm gonna give up um give up my knight just capture it so i can prepare for my escape but black didn't care i don't like your knight i gotta continue moving queen to h4 and this is three move checkmate white resign because if we will continue for f3 for example for extra space for the king there is coming g3 and there is no way for white to prevent the queen h1 checkmate even you go here still checkmate this is the second game that we will analyze for today's video and this one is kind of famous trap for queen's gambit uh decline so let's go d4 d5 c4 e6 queen's gambit knight c3 pressuring the d5 Knight f6 and bishop g5. This is the usual setup for queen's gambit. And of course, if you are black, you can continue by moving bishop to e7 or c6 or the knight bd7, which is black decided to go to knight bd7. The idea of that move is sacrificing the pawn on d5. And let's see what happened in the game. White captured. Okay, that's okay. But just don't capture the free pawn. Because that is not a free pawn. That is a trap. Knight takes d5. What white will do? Bishop takes queen. And the unexpected bishop b4 check. There is no way now to protect or save the king. But by covering queen d2. And after king takes um, d8 or king takes bishop. The queen is still a pin. If we will continue. Okay, castling now. Bishop takes queen. Black is pizza let's go back um here still okay if you want to capture c takes d e takes d that's still fine but don't taste the free pawn because that is a trap so what is the best continuation just move e3 and this bishop is anytime to develop the knight and then cast it so this is how you continue the opening not because it's free pawn you're gonna taste it make sure you analyze well before you take the free pawn this is the third game of our, of course, lost games because of bad opening. This one, d4, knight f6, c4, and this is called Budapest defense, and we have here a trap. So, um, white decided, okay, I gotta go d4 to d5. White can also capture this one, right? That's okay, as long as you don't um, fall into a trap. But if you are uncertain, just push the pawn, d4, d5, bishop to c5, and here, 
white just got scared because of this bishop attacking the f2 thinking if the knight is here that's too much pressure for the f2 pawn so let's go back so what is the best way to deal this bishop c5 attacking the f2 by simply moving e3 or you can just develop your knight knight c3 now if black decide gonna go attack your f2 using my knight and bishop just go e3 bishop c5 instead of moving um, knight c3 or e3 h3 and because of that there is bishop takes f2 sacrifice it opens the opportunity because of the bad continuation the h3 move king takes knight to e4 black cannot a uh, white king cannot go here because of the queen h4 checkmate and there is no way for white to cover the check so king f3 is forced queen to h5 the idea is um forced to check here and here g3 same idea you move the pawn or not there is there is queen g3 and from this position mate in five moves you may pause a video if you want to analyze it more mate in five black to move if you are ready let's go queen takes g3 king takes e4 f5 and that is our first capture d6 checked by the bishop on c8 so the king has to go back sacrifice the bishop and once again uh once again king is forced and well that's a good checkmate 